goodness, look at those atrocious contours. The sheer brutality of its design offends the senses and shocks the mind into a state of palpable excitement. I adore it! Two outfits remain. I can't wait to see what you'll bring me. Something shocking, I hope. I can't wait to see those outfits. If I do somehow drop dead in here, promise me you'll drag my corpse somewhere with monsters. What can I do for you, darling? For you? Anything. Outside Byzantium? Of course not. There's nothing for me outside Byzantium. Yes, and I'm terribly grateful you've agreed. Look, darling, I don't belong outside Byzantium any more than a fish belongs on the land. Anyway, I'm quite certain Byzantium wouldn't last three days without me. I'd return to a smoking ruin of hideous fabrics and mismatched colors. Byzantium has lost its élan vital. Everything about this city is so dreadfully stale. I want to make people uncomfortable the way you do. You're an outsider. You clearly don't belong in Byzantium, and yet you strut about, doing as you please. I'm not some common button monger, darling. I'm an artist. It's my job to make you uncomfortable. You're very welcome. Do you mind? I'm meeting someone. I... oh! Oh! You mean I'm supposed to be meeting you? Nothing, it's just... I thought you'd be taller. Anyway, let's not get hung up on that. The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Yeah. That's my codename for, you know, our mutual friend. Oh, I'm Golden Eagle. Um, yeah, I named you Cuckoo. It makes sense if you think about it, because I didn't know who you were and old earth cuckoos would routinely trick other birds into feeding them. That doesn't even make... fine. Fine. Can we pick our own code names? I want to be... Rolling Thunder. Wait, no, I got it. Dropkick Millstone, yeah. I was really trying to stick with the bird theme. How about... Bullfinch? Wow, that is so much better. Bullfinch Millstone. 
Okay, but adding your last name kind of misses the point. Does this mean I'm supposed to have one too? Fine, but make it a really good one. Let's go with Rufus Hummingbird. Forget it. Codenames are for amateurs anyway. Too late. I've already marked it off. Can't just go reassigning code names. Anyway, you're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate which is heavily guarded. I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Trust me, anyone with a lick of sense gets out of here as soon as possible. But most people don't. In fact, most people stay exactly where they start. Doesn't that seem strange to you? And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Sounds like my old job. I had all these bang up ideas, you know? Like making everybody haul their own damn boxes. Never did catch on though. That's what I mean. Everyone needs a suggestion box so they can voice their thoughts. So what if nothing changes? I mean, there's a shredder at the bottom of the box, so I don't know what you'd expect to happen. But one day the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. At first, management put up an out-of-order sign, but that just seemed to worry people, like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? The whole episode made me wonder, if they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Whoa, I'm not one of your b &E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's House of Inebriation between shifts. That place is still open? I used to study there during medical school. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home and his guards never leave him. Good hunting, Golden Eagle. Hey, hey, stand back, you. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Yep, you're looking at the minister's newest personal guard <laughs> right here. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL-issued shotgun, <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all so very high level. 
Oh, um, he's a uh, medium height with like medium colored hair and like a kind of a medium face. Just like in his posters. Oh, you definitely recognize him if you saw him. He's very important. That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum Vodka. Here's to me! <laughs> hey, you're really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow. You've got, like, this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Have you tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple spectrum vodka, one part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. Then you'll want to speak with our auto mechanical inebriation assistant, located just over there. Quite so, but I would never lower myself to do something as gauche as tending bar. My auto mechanical assistant does all the work for me. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Nonsense. You've got another in you. Doctor's orders. Guess I can't argue with that. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to be sick. How are you doing? I don't know, Ellie. Clyde was the one friend I had since I was a kid. I don't think I'm getting over this anytime soon. Better him than you, right? Yeah, I tried telling myself that already. Didn't work then, ain't working now. Thanks, though. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. Well, that's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Sure you are. And what is it you're delivering today?
I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. Oh, um, what are you doing here? Nothing. Nothing. Why? Uh, does it... does it look like I'm up to something? Laws, I knew it! Uh, you got me. I'm caught, aren't I? I work in the lab at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Some of my sprats went missing, but it's not my fault, okay? Maybe I let them out more often than regulations allow, but they need to stretch their little legs. And so what if I occasionally forgot to latch their cage? Everyone gets a little distracted now and then. They escaped, and before I could coax them back, they'd made their way to the maintenance tunnels. Even if I did dare go down there, they're among all the common sewer sprats and exterminator mechanicals. Really? In that case, take this collection crate. Six of my little ones are down there, but don't worry, you can easily tell them apart from common sewer sprats. They have intelligent eyes, an agreeable yet reserved demeanor, and a fondness for hiding. Also, they're white rather than green. Please, do take care, and do mind the exterminator mechanicals. If the worst should happen to my little darlings, well, I still want their bodies. For science, of course. I still am. After all, I'm a person of very little influence and only middling prospects. No one does favors for free. But I must say, I'm far too distressed to think critically about your suspiciously kind offer. on a level. You always knew where he stood. Now I don't know what to think. I don't know if he was ever straight with me. Did he ever believe in fighting the board, or was he just feeding me a story? Don't take it personally. Most people aren't even honest with themselves. It's it easier when you remember that. I guess it don't matter now. Clyde's gone. It's time I moved on. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Chasing us off already? This feels familiar. Ma'am, please don't cause a scene. I want you to know I'm holding back for your sake. Do you have any actual business here, or...? Yeah? Let's see it. Hm. Looks like your papers are in order. All right, go on through. How did you get in here? You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? I don't know if I trust this so-called minister fella, if that is his real name. So, this is one of the guys who runs the colony, huh? Small room for a big shot. If this is about another Aetherwave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Slowly and loudly, Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. Oh, terribly sorry. I thought you were part of Rockwell's PR team. But if you're not, that means you're a dissident? A real, live dissident? Finally! High time we got the recognition we deserve. 
and so affable. Why, you're nothing like the crazed hooligans the board loves to caricature. But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? My friend, the slightest demonstration of independent thought or action renders one a dissident in the board's rather expansive definition of the term, which is why I'm dying to know what brought you here. Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. I ain't buying it, boss. I said we check him for drugs. Will that be all then? Oh dear, I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Of course, of course! It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. You are a quick study, indeed. I've long suspected Rockwell of transacting business in my name, but this proves it. Yeah, sure. It's always someone else who ordered the hookers an energizing ointment. Please! This is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. But there is a way to find out, and perhaps to set things right. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. If by look for details, he means knock things about and take what we like, count me in. That's certainly one way of doing things. Far be it from me to dictate your methods. Are we really gonna do this? Getting involved is a messy business, and it rarely pays. This is about more than bits. This is about the survival of the colony. If you don't help, who will? Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. Are you not? We're talking about busting into the chairman's office here. We're discussing industrial espionage, legal redress, the possible salvation of Halcyon. Is this not exhilarating? Also, this is the longest conversation I've had with someone else in quite some time. I dearly hope I'm not imagining this. Now we've got to get into the HHC. That's in the Acropolis District, along with the other major corporate and government facilities. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? A man has too much money and too little sense. The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer than a few pages around here. There are a few advantages to dealing with imbeciles. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. 
He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more, all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. You're telling us you gathered up a whole mess of evidence on the board's corruption. How big is this cartridge again? Large enough, I assure you. That's why you must transmit the data to the Earth Directorate and hope for their speedy intervention. Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck and trust no one in the Acropolis district. Oh, there. That's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of him? For the last time, access to Byzantium is impossible without a proper nav key. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to be somewhere else. Anywhere else. The Acropolis District is off limits. Move along. You could have asked me, you know. What in the law's name are you on about? Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was, welcome to the Acropolis District. I never could have handled the desk job. You ever get the urge to just hawk one on the floor? Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti-Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. State your business. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. It's procedure. Now, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? You don't have to be sarcastic about it. Look, you don't have time to wait on new forms, and I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and waive your forms. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs, and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny, and they'll paint the walls with your guts. Don't worry, boss, I got a plan. First, we get ourselves some tossball sticks, right? Then we sidle up to him all polite-like. You do that. The rest of us will watch.
Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the Adjutant's stationery, which is more of a hobby. Ah! Oh, you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else? Excuse me, just a moment. Is there something I can do for you? I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. What? Oh dear. Thank you for reminding me. I can't stand the thought of someone else's hands touching my custom letterheads. Just goes to show you never really see your hometown till you travel with a visitor. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis, so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate-mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off-limits to everyone without X-36 level clearance. 
It's okay. I'm a doctor. I don't care if you're a brain surgeon. If you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. Worth a try. You'd be surprised how often that works. Like I said, X-36 clearance only beyond this point. I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. Like I said, X-36 clear- And you're still not cleared. Okay.